This is my uh, Walesco steam engine here. It's called a D10. Gonna go in there. A little boiler here. It's actually uh, burning inside there. I don't know if you can see it. It's a solid fuel tablet. It's a little whistle. Oh, I need that. Ooh, haven't run this thing in like five years. Governor on it. Little slide bell assembly and flywheel. It will run in reverse as well. It's got a bit of torque to it too. So it'll run either way. Very neat little device. belt driven. Has a little uh, steel belt down there driving the governor. It also has an output shaft. You can uh, hook up uh, you know, a pulley or whatever onto some device. And I kind of want to make a cell phone charger for it, see how that would work out. Put a generator on here, see how it does. Yeah, there used to be a little shroud right here that was like a heat shield or whatever, but uh, that came off at some point. Yeah, I've done a lot of little experiments with this thing. It, uh, it'll run on compressed air too, like most steam engines. You can run it off a bicycle pump. It actually performs a lot better when it's running off a bicycle pump, incidentally, but...
Sometimes if you stop it like that, it'll uh, build a little bit of pressure, make it run a little harder. You can kind of throttle it by uh, relieving pressure with this. And that just uh, just about stalls out the motor there. Oh. You see we're uh, running out of fuel there almost. Let's let her build a little more pressure here. There we go. Oh, self started that time. Nice little boiler. They actually uh, take quite a bit of care when they build these things. And they're not all that expensive. I think I paid like maybe 200 bucks for this thing. It's got a little pressure relief valve there, so uh, if you ever uh, let it, you know, overboil or whatever, it'll uh, blast some pressure off with that little check valve. Yeah, very nice finish on it. Tiny little bolts. It's actually uh, a double sealed uh, piece of uh, quarter inch thick tempered glass for the window there too, so I guess it holds the pressure well enough. Not that this thing's under a great amount of pressure, but I guess the potential's there that it could be uh, problematic if it got too high pressure. It seems like it's real easy to stall this thing with my finger, but that's because I'm grabbing it by the flywheel. If you grab it by the output shaft, it's uh, actually got quite a bit of torque. Bad for a tiny, tiny, tiny little engine. So we've been running for about 8 minutes and 37 seconds here with a warmed up boiler. And uh, looks like I was kind of wrong, looks like it's still burning quite strongly the, uh, the fire and we've got uh, about a half a tank of water left so should run for another 10 minutes I'd imagine, potentially. Well, why well, let's go D10. Anyway, thanks. <laughs>